Hello, wonderful people. What's going on? Good evening from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Time here around 6.30 p.m. And it's sort of like rained a lot. It's still raining outside, drizzling. Went for a afternoon walk, late noon walk. What happened was I got caught up in the rain and uh, I could finish, barely finish my walk. So feeling happy about that, had early dinner and all that. So I decided to do, since it's raining, you know, I have done this rain rainy day list already once, but I decided to do this, you know, uh, once more like you know because i'm feeling the mood right so i have about 13 fragrances all fantastic fragrances some of them are you know not really summer suitable i would not think so but when it rains when it cools down cloudy dark days you know you sit uh, by the window at your workplace or home wherever you are and you just enjoy absolutely the nature you know the water sound you know and then the smell of the soil earthiness so i think these are some good fragrances there are plenty more out there so uh, you know you can do whatever you like right so let's start without any uh, you know wasting much time so first fragrance i have for you is from house of bentley and this is one a very outstanding fragrance i have in my collection from the beyond collection okay bentley it's called beyond wild vetiver okay uh, this one i bought i think as a test range or something like beautiful looking bottles these i think replicates one of the bentley cars headlights They're, these are very expensive cars by the way you know and this line is actually more expensive than typical Bentley uh, fragrances. So the whole line, if you see, I have not tried all of them, but the vetiver really intrigued me. I got this fragrance when I was getting into vetiver. I was liking Guerlain vetiver, a lot of these other vetivers, you know, Sultan vetiver. So at that point, this fragrance uh, was one of my favorites. And I think when it rains, vetiver goes so well. This is actually very strong, uh, smoky kind of vetiver, green fragrance and has excellent lasting power okay definitely check it out if you like vetiver bentley beyond collection wild vetiver that's number 13 so you go number 12 after a long time bringing back for winter this amazing beauty this is for house of afnan like Af americans would say actually i say afnan uh, tobacco rush right one of the more premium line of uh, afnan and they has really they have really nice bottles they came out also patchouli intense which i also like but this one right here it's a more animalic version to my nose of red tobacco by Manser. I love that. But red tobacco, for some reason, I wear it only winter. I think this fragrance is more suitable because it has a spices. And this fragrance actually has those elements that you can enjoy in the wind, uh, rainy season when it rains. And you know, it's like kind of breezy. That time you can enjoy this. Just go two sprays, you'll enjoy it immensely. That's number 12. Tobacco Rush by Afnan. Check it out. Check out my review. Now, number 11 is a discontinued set case. You know, I do not know uh, why companies do that, but perhaps it's not selling well, or maybe they just had different things on mind. This is an excellent tobacco based perfume, which I love. And this is very expensive now. This is John Verbeto's Dark Rebel. This was hyped a lot. One time, I'd say this perfume was, I think, introduced by Jeremy. Yes. And they got a lot of high, a lot of people loved it. And it also has that dark rebel rider, which I also have. There are a few dark ones in the line. But uh, something about dark rebel is just stands out, beautiful looking bottles. And if you can find it, keep it in your collection. It's worthwhile. It's a beautiful winter perfume too. Dark, uh, very well done sort of tobacco. I forgot the nose breakdown, but these are amazing looking bottles. I just love the cap and everything. This works really well in winter as well as the rainy season. John Roberto's Dark Rebel. So, top 10. Number 10, I will give you an inexpensive gem. You see, this fragrance is cheaper than the first three, okay? By far. And you can get a 200 ml absolutely for very good value from House of Calvin Klein, CK1 Shop. This is known to be one of the most affordable, fruity, beautiful, lovely, crowd pleaser sort of tobacco scents. And I think the 200 ml really makes sense because you need kind of like overspraying every three hours because this one goes away with the reformulation older style the silver spare were better i just love the way it smells it's all about the smell you know this is so lovely so beautiful and it's casual style but it's unique too okay i just love ck house uh, as whole and the thing is as a whole sorry not <laughs> sounded wrong anyway so <laughs> ck one shop for him definitely my favorite i can even wear this in the ac room in summertime okay so ck one shop excellent fragrance number 10 Number nine, a bit expensive and again, um, I think a uh, victim of discontinuation. This is Gucci Intense Wood. I had this bottle, I sold it off and then I could not find this bottle anymore. 
it's very rare in bangladesh right now and the prices i'm paying now i mean i paid for this bottle is a lot trust me it's a lot it's a niche pricing bottle i still got it because i couldn't help it i love the note of that note of black afghano i had a clone of this which i also love i can i can show you it's called intense wood look at the juice color of that that's a clone house it has like two hours of longevity it's not bad but when you talk about the ultimate black afghano sort of uh, dna this one does it for me it's so beautiful wearable more value than black afghano black afghano is a <clears throat> extra day perform right but this i think is edp it's not bad even if a reformulation lasts but in rainy season this is very very beautiful you like this dark earthiness from this fragrance you can also try if you like a little bit brighter citrusy version in the kush by mansara that is also good so now moving on to the next one <clears throat> sorry <laughs> a little bit of cold with the ice cream and all so 1098 number eight is luxodor luxodor oud saffron man this perfume it's stunning okay this house is stunning i just cannot tell you how much quality they offer if you know the quality of nishane mansara what they provide you know this house provides the same quality and for a very good price tag i just absolutely love i just want to try all their fragrances comes with some of them come with magnetic cap i love that but these bottles are stepping up in the game looks like lancome wood bouquet kind of bottles this is wood for greatness mixes with either aventus i forgot aventus or baccarat rouge one of them but a stunning perfume nonetheless beast mode longevity check it out check out my review this is a sleeper guys you need to try this if you don't have it okay you see the pattern all dark fragrances this one definitely sitting proudly there oud saffron by luxodor then number 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 <laughs> seven is discontinuation sadly but i have to show this fragrance because i love them aramis tobacco reserve see those who do not know this bottle yeah looks like the original i have the original somewhere wait i wear it once in a while still i need to get a backup bottle but also got expensive aramis for him same looking bottle they have uh, sort of like you can say you know discontinued sad case of a uh, flanker this one came out with a green juice dark green color juice i had it i sold it off uh, so much regrets in life man this one i bought about 30 or 40 ml for uh price ratio of 100 dollars to you know like 100 100 dollars to 100 ml yeah so this is so much more expensive so rare and trust me with this darkness of the juice this one became so much more rich now it's in flu flu full glory let me put some yeah after a long time yeah when i smell this oh this is a man's man scent this is that ultimate high class this juice right here you know i don't know why they discontinued this this is one of the best tobacco based perfumes in my collection if you like tobacco uh, sorry aramis havana right that one is good tobacco but this is ultimate okay this is the pure manly man perfume okay the class of this it's second to none aramis tobacco reserve it's hard to find but it's worthy if you can get within 150 dollars now yeah those are the prices now <laughs> now number six one of my favorite smoky fragrances burning barbershop by ds and durga i reviewed i think couple of fragrances from this house and i have uh, amber kiso i have ordered that decant from one of my brothers i want to review that beautiful leathery smoky perfume with amber but this one right here i don't know first day i sniffed all of them in the line i fell in love with this it has a smell of dhup dhup is i think is incense i don't know what you call the dhup dhup is the smoke that you burn uh, i think incense stick in uh, temples mandir you know in uh, hindu temples and stuff this is the smell it is so holy it is so beautiful and the opening smokiness is just out of this world true niche style perfume even check out that atomizers how cute is that these bottles are amazing caps are amazing takes on to place absolute pleasure number six burning barbershop one of the best barbershop in the business trust me on that one beautiful longevity too now top five number five was what i was wearing when i was going for the walk and uh, i must tell you this is very hard to find sorry to say but it has to be here black excess potion those who are fan of black excess line by you know pakuraban they know the value of this or aphrodisiac i think there are a few of the other ones i don't know uh, black excess lexi and black excess they have pure excess line they have some of the other ones black excess was stunning the original excess was also beautiful i just love this originator of all the excesses excesses 
but this has a boozy ram note with that sweet body to it. It's beautiful, sweet, um, <clears throat> kind of like a boozy gourmet kind of fragrance, the vanilla. This is really next level stuff. If you can get this, keep it in your collection, okay? Amazing juice. I just absolutely love the way it opens. Uh, like a Zippo lighter, black excess portion. Enjoy that in the rain. Number five. Number four is the fragrance I'm bringing back after six, seven years. Six, seven years. And you did not hear me wrong. This fragrance, I had it in Malaysia when it came out. The first day in Malaysia, I think I was the very first one in Asia to get it when it was launched. Uh, because of one man, it was his responsibility or fault. It was Robes 08, Mark. He talked about it so highly that he was impressed by this juice juice and uh, he said how good this is this next level of lamal and it was a flanker to that line it was called lamal essence de parfum not lamal uh, le parfum which i also have not this this is also very very good modern there are a few of the other ones ultra male and then the thing is in the whole line uh, this juice color actually changed over the years it used to be this color like labo green juice color okay if you see my review lamal essence de parfum by jean paul you'll see over the years, this became a straight up beast. It's a sweet, kind of like a lavender and all that thing there, but it was boozy. I think this one had, oh man, uh, just stunning perfume. There's just nothing like it in the market. And I don't know if anybody has it still or talk about it or discontinued. This fragrance is so beautiful. The opening is so strong. Um, it just lasts a long time. Uh, just check out my review. Lamal Essence de Parfum is my number four. So number three, number two, number one, we're going to have some more space. Number three, discontinued gem. Okay, sorry. Uh, how many discontinued fragrances did I show today? This is called Prada Amber, Purum Intense. The original Amber is very nice. This is darker take on it. It's more creamy and it's uh, as Coach, Coach, Coach Rob 6. <laughs> what am I saying? I think I'm a bit, uh, you know, jumpy after the walk. Uh, this is more uh, black soap version of Prada Amber Purum. Coach Rob 619, one of the legendary reviewers, he called this as a black soap smell. Never smelled black soap in my life, but I can see what he means. To be making it more simple, if you know uh, Tom Ford Man, Tom Ford for him or Tom Ford Man, I think, yeah, that's the fragrance. This one has similarity to that, but this one, sorry, no, not Tom Ford Man. This is similar to Tom Ford Noir, okay? with better longevity and much more interesting notes. Definitely check it out if you like the Tom Ford. That is discontinued and more pricey than this. Get it while you can. But I remember, Purum Intense. <clears throat> number two, number one. Number two is this beauty I bought a couple of months back. Parfum de Marly, Hub Done. Um, what can I say? I do love Carlyle. I do love Ojan. I have them still in my collection. Ojan is here. Uh, Carlyle is here, don't drop buddy. Okay, these dark bottles, they are just a thing of a beauty, you know. Like if you I never tried them, I highly suggest you try them. But this is a fragrance you must try, okay, because it has apples. If you do like Hugo Boss bottle oud, this is just the next level. This takes Leighton Boss bottle to the next level. Beautiful spices, amber, and that apple note is just gorgeous. It changes over time. It's very long lasting and rainy time rainy season i don't know i cannot have a proper term when it rains this one shines okay i've done my perfume marley number two check out my review number one today <clears throat> it's been a dark sort of a you know day <laughs> and when you see the like clouds and everything overcast conditions these are the kind of fragrance i really like and i think it goes nicely with the theme number one today is that fragrance i love the most here lou de sepurum noir ambre by ese miyake <clears throat> This fragrance, it's I think number what? A one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seventh fragrance, which is discontinued out of the 30. Okay, go figure. And uh, this perfume is very expensive. Okay, I tell you, I had the other one, it was what? There was one more incense. I had that, uh, but I love this the most. I let that go. This is the most beautiful in the dark line of Isimiyake. This is a must. Have item if you like this kind of fragrance like hub done or you like something like amber spices this is so beautiful like similar to costume national um or costume national soul rather uh, it's just the best one of the best uh amber based fragrances in my collection with a little bit of spice and sweetness it's just a perfect balance there's just perfection in a bottle okay so there you go the boxes even are much prettier than the other ones so that's our those are my 13 fragrances i wear like to wear in uh rainy days 
What are your favorites? Do let others know and have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.